All right, ethical question for you. If somebody was cheating on you, would you want your best friend to tell you if they knew? This is a tougher question than you think. I'm uh, here at the Grove, just getting ready to go home. Just saw this uh, Robert De Niro movie, The Intern. There's no one here. It's crazy. I'm the last basic car left. So the question is, and, and I've heard this is like a moral dilemma question because let's say you've been married like 30, 40 years, you find out your spouse cheated on you. Would you, in this hypothetical, would you want your best friend to tell you if they knew or would you want it, assuming it was just a one time cheating on you, uh, or would you want your best friend just to be like, forget it, let them live out the rest of their days blissfully. So, you know, it's, 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 you hear the cliche that um, ignorance is bliss. So there is a certain truth to that. I think all of us are delusional at one level or another about something, you know, there's in the 25 cognitive biases uh, and the illogical uh, mechanisms of our brain, one of them is called delusion bias. And it basically says we try to avoid pain by glossing over, you know, um, and so the question is, to what extent do you actually have delusion in your life? And I think this ethical question, which by the way, in this movie, the reason I thought of it is in this movie uh, with Robert De Niro, the intern, that's kind of one of the scenes in there. And I thought it was kind of, the, the movie doesn't delve into it as much as I'm asking, but um, without a doubt, hold on, let me brace myself here, without a doubt, uh, I think that that is a serious question that we all have to ask ourselves. Like, to what extent do we want to know the truth about life? And um, Freud, in the in what I think is one of the greatest books ever written, called Civilization and Its Discontents. Uh, I always like this view of the Lamborghini. It has a good uh, the engine looks awesome. But um, for all you car aficionados, but Freud says, you know life is too painful for us and that's why people become alcoholics he says he calls that you know chemical we, we find happiness in chemical biases uh, some of us pain uh, the, the truth about life is too painful so we find delusions um, some would say in religion you, you might argue that depending on your belief uh, others would say that we find delusion in uh, beauty you know some would say Collecting cars, Lamborghinis, this is a delusion that keeps us from facing the truths, the harsh truths about life. And so where I'm at, if I have to answer that question, I'd love for you to comment below because I want to create a dialogue among people. You know, I call this the knowledge society where you think about hard questions that other people don't want to. Let me close the door before I kill the battery here. Um, uh, you know, in the knowledge society, it's all about asking hard questions and trying to answer them and think them through before they happen. So for you, leave that as a comment. What would you do? Like, and explain why. Don't just say, I'd rather have my friend tell me. And I think the natural inclination for all of us is to say, oh yeah, hell yeah, I'd want our, my friend to tell me. But think about that. You've been married 30 years. Like, everything's going good. It was a one-time event. Uh, do you really want to know the truth? Garbage man. Or, garbage <laughs> uh, that's how you know you're here late at the grove when it's only garbage trucks coming by I mean garbage uh, whatever you call it rollers so I would just add at the very end of this hypothetical what is the most delusional part of your life like for me probably the biggest delusion that I've had to deal with is um, you know the delusion that because I'm a truth seeker, or at least I think I'm a truth seeker. Maybe that's a delusion. But I've always been interested in philosophy and history and psychology of, of you know humans and how we work together. And I think that um, my biggest delusion has been that there are black and white answers to life. And because that's called, by the way, certainty bias. We all want to say, oh, everything that happened to us life makes sense like the reason that this hardship happened the reason this person betrayed us oh it's all gonna work together at the end but but you know when you look at ethics and when you look at the way the world works there's a lot of things that don't have resolution to them so in my life me wanting to have a black and white finite story to things is probably my biggest delusion and uh, Freud by the way talks about that one too so not that Freud was right about everything is certainly a genius guy for his time so, you know, that's my answer. I think for me, 
God, if I was like 80 years old, I think I'd be like, let me just die in peace. You know, if, if I was younger, I probably would want to know. And maybe that's a delusional answer, but that's, you know, that's my, that's my answer to this. So what's your answer, you know, to that? Would you want to know? Leave that below and then also leave the biggest theory of delusion that you have. And I'll tell you this, if your answer is you have no delusion in life, I guarantee that's your delusion. Like there is no human. You ask any like I had Matt Lieberman at my house, the famous, uh, he went to Harvard and, and now he's at UCLA, uh, a psychologist, neuro guy, and like we all delude ourselves at some level. So anyway, leave a comment. Let's open up a dialogue and, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a lot of video blogs like this just of my life uh, here. This is LA, this is Hollywood, the Grove. Some of you have probably been here, so leave a comment, subscribe, talk to you tomorrow.